Thank you very much, Rajul. Um, I will speak from the perspective of the program that I lead, which is the CGIAR research program on policies, institutions, and markets. It is led by IFPRI, but it brings together uh, 14 of the 15 centers of the CG system. So we are, and many external partners as well. So we are uh, working very clearly in a, a partnership mode. I came to this conference with um, a couple of specific objectives. Of course, I wanted to listen and learn, and I have done that, and I have really enjoyed that. But in addition, I came with a specific question with regard to the program, and that is, should we undertake a radical restructuring of the portfolio of the PIM program in order to make sure that we are adequately addressing the issues of resilience, which have been so um, uh, of such great importance that they've brought this large group of people together and have captured so much attention. So in order to help my thinking and with regard to this question, I decided that I would go to all of the sessions that were drawing on the research, which is supported by the PIM program. So I started out, I went first to the session on social protection and the productive safety nets program in Ethiopia. Then to a session on the dry lands, the future of the dry lands in Africa. And then I believe the next one was a session on uh, markets and trade, particularly trade as an instrument for addressing resilience. And then another session on um, the technological options for addressing resilience in the context of climate change. And then again, the issues of gender and the issues that came out in the plenary about sex disaggregated data and the work that we're doing on that. Now I came away, each of those sessions was very well attended. The discussion was very good. The research presented um, both by those working with support of PIM and with other um, organizations was very high quality research. I came away from that with the conviction that we already have a program which is very strong in addressing the issues of resilience. So we definitely should not stop doing what we're doing. But I also felt that we shouldn't just carry on doing only what we're doing, because clearly that body of research is very relevant to resilience, but we hadn't quite brought it together with the definition of resilience, with the understanding of the conceptual framework for drawing on this research in the context of resilience, and with a set of metrics, as uh, Prabhu has indicated, that would help us understand better to what extent this work is contributing to um, interventions, entry points in the um, ways to address resilience. So my sense of what we from the research community should be doing is not reinventing a research agenda that addresses resilience, but rather uh, moving ahead in a, a clearer understanding of the definition of resilience of the conceptual framework that allows us to understand the dimensions of it, the entry points, and then very importantly with a very simple set of metrics that allow us to gauge contribution to an agenda that is moving resilience forward. If we can do that, then I think we will be able to harvest this vast body of research that is already underway, which is very relevant to the agenda. We will be very efficient in our use of resources in carrying it forward. We will be very productive in our contribution to the action agenda and to the impact and implementation. And I think that we will carry the, the work forward. I think we've made good progress in doing that in this, this conference. And I want to um, congratulate Rajul and my colleagues for um, being so brave as to bring together 800 people to um, start thinking along these lines. There was a chance that it would not focus, but I think we have started the process of achieving greater focus, and that's where I think we, from the research community, will be able to provide the next steps of progress on this agenda. Thank you.